You can't see my feet, that didn't start well. I'll adjust it once I head to the floor, but let's just stand up to start and let's get that body working. So, first thing we're going to do is let's put our feet in position. So, feet hit width apart for me, standing nice and tall, knees nice and soft, lifting the body up. So, lift your shoulders up for me, give them a nice show, roll, drop the shoulder blades into those back pockets. Fantastic. So let's start with some fingers on hips and let's do some nice circles for me. So while we're doing these hip circles, I want you to think about your breathing and drawing in those tummy muscles and then the other way for me. We're not going to go through the breathing technique, but what I want you to think about is how you're breathing and working through. So you're not breathing through the shoulders, it's all through this middle area here. Fantastic. Let's now do some side bends and warm up those muscles. Well done. Fantastic, and then lift up, over, and stretch and hold down one side. Sweeping down, stretch and hold. Oh, that's nice. On the other side, I'm to come out to the side for me, guys, and you're just gonna give yourself a hug, and you're gonna open up that chest. Well done, open up the chest, and then I want you to look towards one side, open up the chest, look towards the other side. Good. Bringing your arms down by your side, I want you to look towards one side, sweeping through the chin towards the chest, sweeping backwards. You're going to do this two each way and then come back to the center. Fantastic. Okay, so stepping your right foot slightly back, I'm going to show you from the side. I want you to think about your nice tall posture, so no overarching, pushing through the ribs, lifting nice and tall for me. Bring your arms forward so they're parallel to the floor, and you're going to sweep your same arm to the same leg, but keeping your hips forward. Squeeze into that shoulder blade, look towards your elbow and come forward. Hips stay forwards. You're going to do four on one side, and then you're going to switch. Good. Fantastic. And then switch into the other side, making sure you're squaring up those hips, pulling back with some nice rotations. Good. Thinking about looking back towards that elbow, all the way, fantastic. And then when you finish, bring both feet together. Now you can have them slightly wide your hips, we're just gonna go into the squat. But I want you to place your fingers onto your bony bits, of your hips so you're going to squat down when you're squatting make sure your bottom is going down and back now when you're in this position here you're going to round through like a little duck quack quacking okay and sweep back so you're rounding through in that squat position opening and closing that shoulder three times fantastic and then stand up this time bring your arms out to the front in the squat and you're going to do a heel lift left and right, and then a double heel lift to challenge your balance. Lower down and stand. Repeat that twice for me. Right, left, double, and then stand. Last time through. Repeat one more time for me, guys. Down we go. Well done. Okay, back to the end of your match. You're going to do a roll down for me. Okay, so everybody's done the roll down with me before. So chin nice and tuck, standing nice and tall, knees soft, round through the upper spine, starting from the top of the vertebrae to the bottom of the vertebrae. Nice and soft, you're gonna walk your hands out slightly to try and get them flat on the floor, walk them back, lengthen those legs and roll all the way back up. Good, do that one more time for me. Just walk out as far as you need to, to get your palms flat on the floor. Some of you may need to walk out here, that's fine, but stretch into the back of the legs. So stretching the calves and the hamstrings. Good. On the next one, you're gonna come all the way down onto the floor, and then you're gonna come onto your fronts. So you're gonna roll all the way down, come onto the prone position, lying on your tummies. If you've got a little cushion, you can use a little cushion to rest your forehead on. If not, don't worry, you can just use your hands. We're not here for very long. Okay, guys, so onto the floor. If you've got your light weights, you can use them just to rest your hands on for now. 
but just have that movement. So I want you to tuck your pelvis under, so your pubic bone needs to be tucked nice and under. You're going to have your arms in this W position, weights in hands if you want them, and then you're going to tuck your chin. Now the movement is through the upper back. So when you lift up, you're going to tuck the chin, keep it tucked, and only lift as far as your lower ribs in the back. And then you're going to come down again. So tuck and lift. Do another four of these for me, guys. Just warming up and extending that upper back. Good. We're just nicely getting it warm. Okay, do two more and then we're going to finish there. And then we're going to start working onto the leg. Okay. So from here, on this next one, keep your head down on the floor. Relax the arms. Now you're going to lengthen and lift through the bottom muscle, your right leg. So squeeze your bottom, lengthen your leg, lift up through the thigh, and you're going to lift into that right leg. So you're squeezing these bottom muscles and relax it fully, switch legs. Okay, give me two singles on each side, and then do me a double where we squeeze, extend, and lift both. So we do single, 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 double. Repeat that three times for me. So we go single, single, double. Good. Well done. I can't quite see anyone when you finish. So just give me a quick wave when you finish. I can see Stephanie's head, but I can't see anybody else's. <laughs> I've got you. <laughs> okay, well done. Okay, give me a wave when you've done. Okay, I got the wave, marvellous. Right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the arms. So if you've got your light weights, what you're going to do is you're going to lift up through the chest and then you're going to lift your right leg. So you're extending through here. Tuck that tailbone under so it's not in the lower back. You're going to sweep the opposite arm backwards following it with your head and then coming down. So we lift, extend the spine, lengthen and sweep. So we're really working those muscles now. Okay, let's just do three on each side, singles. Squeeze. And then we're gonna go into the double. So as we do the double, you're gonna lift, sweep each hand and double extend the arms back. Well done. And we're gonna do three doubles. Squeeze and hold. Good. Excellent. Really good. Okay. Fantastic. Just check up one's finished. So from here, put your hands back on the floor for me, but tuck your elbows in so you're up onto your forearms. Okay, we're going to do some some work where we strengthen through the core. So Push your hips so they're vertical, so your spine is neutral and it's parallel to the floor. Okay, now you can stay in this position or you can come into this position here, depending on how strong you feel. You're going to tap out with your right leg, out with your left leg, hold that position, out with the right hand, out with the left hand. Now you can do this in that position if you need to. So you can lift one, you're going to do it twice through. Try and support and grab that strength in that core. Okay, when you've done it two times through, just sit back and have that quick stretch. Good. Well done. Fantastic, looking good. Okay. Just have a nice stretch, excellent. Now from here, you're gonna come up into the four point kneeling position. Okay, you're gonna bring your right leg to the outside of your hand. Okay, now you can either keep this leg down or you can extend it. It's up to you how stretched you feel. And you're just gonna sweep open. Now you can use your weight to open up through the chest five times. One. Two, you'll get warmed up. Three, good. Four, 
excellent, and five. Make sure your hand comes back down. You place the knee down, bring the leg back, and switch sides. So try and get that foot as close to that hand as you can. If you want to extend again, you can open up the chest. Five times. Well done. These are looking good, guys. And five. Fantastic. Make sure you bring your knees back down and you just come over onto the other side. So we're now going to come into lying on our backs. I think everyone's with me still. Yeah. Okay, so take your weights and place them either side if you're using your weights. But we're going to come down and lie down onto the back. Okay, so we're starting with our feet in this position, our feet are here, and we're going to keep our arms in this position. Now, if you've got your weight, I want you to think about that neutral spine, that core switch. Don't lengthen your arms and hover your arms. So draw your shoulder blades down towards your back pocket, hold them there. Now engage those tummy muscles, and there should be no shift in that core. So lift your right leg into tabletop, so hover those arms and your left leg into tabletop. Lower your right down, no shift in that core, no flaring in the ribs, and down. Lift the other side, left and right. Good. Well done. Now, just relax the arms. So you're going to do that one again, but this time we're going to add a double press. So we hover the arms, length and lift, right knee into tabletop, left knee into tabletop, flex the feet, double press and hold. Bring back, lower the right, lower the left. Good, and relax. Lengthen again, left start, right, double press and hold. Your tummy should start shaking a little bit because you're holding in that position, good. Okay, now take the arms out to the outside. You're gonna do that one again, but they're gonna hover from the outside. So it's up to you whether you have your weights or not, you can ditch or not. So arms out, head stays down. Last time through here before we do some chest work. Lift and hold. Fantastic, hover those arms, bring it back in, right and left. Relax. Next one, make sure those ribs stay pushed down. Whoops, wrong leg for me. And double press. Good. Okay, now this time we're adding on, we're adding the chest. So this time we're going to sweep the arms up as we lift the chest. Holding in that position, looking between your knees, keep that core nice and tight. We lift right, we lift left, we push and hold. Good. Bend the knees, tap down right, tap down left, bring the arms back out. Good, so we go again, lift through the chest, left leg, left leg, right leg, double press. Bring back in, left down, right down, sweep back out. One more time each side, guys. Squeeze and lift. Good, right side lead. Good. Brilliant. And down. Keep going, lift, left, right, extend when you finish this one. Give those knees a hug. Oh, well done, fantastic. Okay, just give those knees a hug. Really good. Okay, we're gonna come up to seated. So what one needs to do is however you get up, elegance or no elegance, I don't mind. I'm going to roll myself up, I'm going to hold on to the back of my thighs and come up to roll up. Okay, oops, my waist have rolled away. Okay, now arms come out in front for this one. I'm hoping everyone can see me on this one. Okay, so your arms come out and you're rolling back. Now get to the point where you're not arching through the spine, you're feeling that tummy muscle tighten. Just do me too. Tuck that tailbone under and roll through. Good. On the next one, we're going to take the arms out to the side, but make sure you don't hunch. So we roll down, 
we come out. So arms come out, we hold. Only go out as far as you feel you can comfortably go without hunching in those feet coming up. So core tight, roll. We've got two more to do. Brilliant, well done. So there's four in total. Keep breathing, keep that tummy tight. Don't know about you, but my tummy's having that Christmas shaking moment today. <laughs> Post Christmas, it's, it's not been a good day. Good, well done, keep going, we're doing really well. Okay, on the next one we hold and then we rotate. So we sweep, rotate, so it should be getting all along that middle line of your tummy around your ribs, bring it back and forward. Out, sweep, rotate, back and forward. Good, we've got three each side. Woo, this is the burner. Good morning, Thursday. Oh my goodness. Get that rotation in. Good. Keep going, guys. Last time. So three times each way. Well done. Keep going. Okay, on the next one, you're going to roll back down onto the floor. Okay, so coming back down onto the floor, your arms are up in the air. Okay, you're going to bring one knee into tabletop and then the other knee into tabletop. Make sure you've got that neutral spine and your ribs are down and you've got that core nice and tight. We're going to do a single leg stretch. So we're going to start with one, two, three, and in. Okay, now if you think you are strong enough, you can do straight leg scissoring. Okay, it's up to you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have the opposite arm and leg, and we're going to do a set of three, five, three, and five as singles. So the opposite arm comes back. So I'll go into straight leg and I go one, head stays down, two, three, tabletop, claw switched on tight. Then we go five, whoops, wrong arm for me. One, two, three, four, five, back to three. So we go three, two, one. Keep it up. Number five again, last set of five. If five is too many, six of threes. One, two, three, four. Five, good, and your last set of three. One, two, three, and in. Good, give, that give those knees a rub. Just drop them to the side and have a little rest through. Okay, we're gonna repeat the same thing, but we're gonna add some rotation into it. So you're gonna take your arms, they're gonna come vertically up, and you're gonna bring them into tabletop again. Now, whether you're doing scissors or bent knee leg stretch, it's up to you. But as you extend the opposite leg that goes away, you're gonna come across to the knee or leg that stayed. So we bring them up, two, three. We do three, five, three, five again. Well done, lift through the chest, opposites. So five, or sit with your threes. Three, four, five, good, keep breathing. We drop back to three after five. So we go one, we've got another set of five if you can, all three. Well done. Brilliant. Here we go, keep going, you're doing so well. My last set of five. Well done. Take the arms out to the outside, drop your weights if you can, and just have a little drop through the hips. Be a little roll through. Okay, lengthen one leg along the floor and stretch your leg up, stretching through that hamstring. Lengthen it as far as you can, having a really good stretch into that hamstring. Good. A very quick stretch, guys. If the other leg's straight along the floor, you'll get a much better pull into the hamstring. 
but some of you may not need that if you've got very tight hamstrings. Good. Really good. Fantastic. Switching legs, just make sure you've switched. Brilliant. Okay, place your arms down by your side. We're just going to come into the quick shoulder bridge. So make sure your head is down. You're going to roll up through the pelvis. So like you're rolling off the seabed floor. Up and squeeze. We're just doing this as a little stretch. Okay, so roll up and squeeze. Now you can have the arms if you want to for the last two. So we roll up, we sweep the arms round, Whoops, you knock your sheet over, and then you come down again. Good. Roll up, sweep, squeeze, and down. Excellent. Do one more, let's just do one more. Brilliant, and down. Fantastic. Now roll onto your sides and we're just going to do a little bit of hip and glute work. This is not going to be very long, so you've just got to keep moving through. So five minutes of bottom work. So a few minutes on each side. So head down for me, legs straight and slightly forward of your body. Okay, so lift the waist, squeeze the legs together, flex the feet and double lift. You're bringing this into the hip. So you're going to do six of these. If you need to press into the floor, you can. Just make sure you're not rocking through the hips. Five and six, fantastic. Now drop the legs, take your top leg. So now that top leg is lifted in line with the floor, so it's parallel. You're gonna heel tap in front, lift the leg, toe tap behind. Don't let the hip rock. So heel, toe. You're doing six of these. So try and balance and hold. Well done. Tap. Well done, six of these. Tap behind. I think I'm on my last one, I'm shocking at counting. Fantastic. Bring that leg now back to the top of here. You're gonna lift it up as high as you can without going into the waist, but using the bottom muscle. Take it back in line with the body, lower it down, bring it forwards. So let's lift, slight reverse, so we get that real deep muscle contraction. Lift, sweep, and back. Good. Fantastic. Six of these. You've got a little cushion behind you, Stephanie. <laughs> you look really uncomfy on your neck. <laughs> That's it, lift. That's it, that might work, Stephanie, that's it. Is that better? <laughs> well done. And down, last time. Okay, and then bend the knees so you're in the clamp position. So remembering when you're in the clamp position that your spine is in line with your feet. Okay, and then you're gonna come up onto the forearm. Now make sure that waist is lifted. So if it's dropped here, you're gonna work the waistline. What we need to work is the bottom. So we lift. We lift up if we can, and we clam. We finish our clam here. We're doing eight of these. Six, seven, and eight. Fantastic. And then let's roll over and work onto the other side. So don't forget the legs are slightly forward of the body and flexed and squeezed and pressed together. Okay, so I hope you can all see me. I'm just going to move up the screen a little bit. So flex those feet, keep that waist nice and lifted, press into the floor if you need to, and we double lift through the hips. So this should get into this nice muscle here, all around the hips. So we've got six, six, and six to do with these. So we've got six here. Good. Keep breathing. Try to not hunch and pull them up to your ears, your shoulders. We don't want ear and shoulders. They're the Funny looking things that we have when we all stress. I think I've done six. You know, my count is absolutely shocking. That's about six, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so now it's that top leg lift. Turn to drop the heel to tap and point the toe behind. So heel tap in front, heel and tap. So make sure that lift is good enough for you to get into that bottom muscle. You will each be lifting at a different height to get into that turn. If you feel it's too much on your hip, 
just tap your toe in front. That's it. So we've got six of these. Good. It should be starting to burn now. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. Okay, last one here. And then we're doing our lift. So we lift, take it back, down and forward. Lift, back, down and forward. So this is getting nicely into that juicy bit. Then we've got one more thing to plan, and then we're gonna have a little stretch off. Excellent guys, these are really good. Two more for me. That's it, well done. Woo, give it a quick tap away. Up onto the forearm, waist lifted, arm up, lift, lengthen, stretch, and into that plan. We've got eight to climb, so make sure that hip doesn't rock. Keep that hip nice and stacked. Lifting your waist can help you really work into that bum muscle. Fantastic. These are looking good. When you've done your eight, roll back down onto the floor and then onto your backs. Well done. Give your knees a hug. Roll through and just round through that spine. Just give them a nice tight hug. Excellent. Okay, now place your feet down, place one ankle onto your other knee and pull that thigh into the chest. You're stretching through that bottom muscle. Really good. Fantastic. Just a few more seconds. Well done, switch sides, hold on to that ankle onto the other knee and pull it into your chest. Oh, it does feel good to be back this week, ladies. Exercising with a bit more routine rather than none, which is what I did at Christmas. <laughs> well done. Fantastic. Okay, we're just going to roll up to seated, place the soles of our feet together. So roll up to seated any which way you can. Get a bit of a fuzzy head, just go slowly. Press those feet together for me, sit nice and tall. Place one forearm down, just have a nice side stretch over if you've got room. Keep pressing the soles of the feet together and opening up through the inner thigh. Sweep over and press the other side. Brilliant. Press the palms down and push that chest forward. Try and open up the sort of inner thigh, the hips, the chest. Just have a really nice stretch. Oh, brilliant. And then you're going to come up, tuck your toes, and you're going to come up to the roll up. I'm going to have to reverse back so you can see me, because otherwise I'll disappear. Okay, so drive those heels down, re-mobilize that spine. Have I got a head? I've got no head. Okay, give me some shoulder rolls backwards. She's here, there she is. Okay, so give me some nice shoulder rolls. Take the hands behind the head for me. Round through the upper back. Open up that chest. Take a big inhale. Throw it all away. We take one. We take two. We take a Thursday, 2023. Yeah. Okay. Well done, guys. Really well done. I know you've got to scoop many of you, so I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Well done.